And we are back. Rawstatus.com, Raw Status TV, YouTube, The Raw Status Instagram, The Raw Status Twitter. Find us, follow us, friend us, like us, subscribe, comment, and share. So today's topic, we're going to talk about this COVID-19 vaccine and this black woman nurse from a hospital in New York who is apparently the first person in the United States to take the vaccine. Now, this has been all over corporate media, all over CNN and NBC and everybody else you can name. And they made sure to put the image of this black woman on blast to put it on the corporate media. Now, there are many people out there, including myself, that believe that black people are being targeted for this vaccine. The question is why? First of all, is this vaccine safe? A vaccine that's been that's being funded and patented reportedly by who? Bill Gates, a man without a college degree and no knowledge of medicine whatsoever. Pfizer or Kaiser is the is the correct pronunciation of the pharmaceutical company that is making this drug. But again, you have to ask yourself, why? Look at this picture. Look at this woman who's volunteered, who's a frontline worker. You can understand why she would want to vaccinate herself. But is this vaccine safe? But look at the picture of this white man standing over her. You see, they were very very quick to get this image out to the world. Again, we at Raw Status, keeping it raw like we do, we ask the question, why? Now this picture here looks eerily similar to this next picture. Oh yeah. Back in the day, the 1960s, the Tuskegee experiments. Yes, you've heard about these experiments many times. To where they found men with syphilis and without syphilis and experimented on them. Knowing that penicillin was the correct drug to treat syphilis. But they decided to test some things out. There was a settlement. They reached a settlement. A lawsuit was filed and the people that were experimented upon were paid a settlement. A class action lawsuit, I believe. But the question remains, why do so many black people volunteer to be the guinea pigs for the white supremacists and their medicines, quote, end quote? I guess if you're suffering from an illness or potentially suffering from an illness, your intentions are pure. Your intentions are innocent. You want relief or you want protection. But the question is, why do we trust these people if they had foul intentions back then why the hell wouldn't they now when they have better technology and more ways to hate and hurt us now you remember when this COVID-19 shit this COVID-19 supposed disease was a Chinese thing remember when president former president Donald Trump soon to be former president was calling it the Kung flu rightfully so because it reportedly started in China. Remember it was a big problem in China and Italy for that matter. And there are also reports saying that black people were not contracting coronavirus. Now here I have a screenshot of an American Congress bitch, Chinese woman named Ming who stepped out and said, we cannot let this be a stigma against Asians. They were real quick to protect that. And almost simultaneously, it all of a sudden became a black disease. Africans in China were saying they were being discriminated against, saying that they were bringing in COVID, the ignorance of these people to blame black people, no matter if it's Americans or Africans for COVID-19 when it started with the Chinese and the Jews and in Europe, even till this day, Africa has a lot less cases than anybody else. Remember when people were asking, why aren't black people getting Corona at the same rate? Maybe it's something in our genetics. Here's another picture of the Tuskegee experiments. Folks, they have purposely 
targeted black people to be blamed for COVID-19. They keep using trick language, tricky, tricky language from these medical tricks and these white supremacist tricks. Disproportionate. Underlying conditions, poverty. Folks, Corona night COVID-19, the coronavirus is not a black disease. It is not affecting black people more than anybody else. As a matter of fact, according to people that work in the medical industry, it is more white people coming into hospitals and dying from this stuff than it is black Americans. Again, we look at the Tuskegee experiments. Once again, do we trust these people? The answer is no. Now, Speaking for myself, this is a brave woman because I don't know what the hell is in that vaccine. In Australia, they're saying that the corona vaccine are giving people false positives of HIV. Leave your comments in the box. Let me know what you think. This is Raw Status TV. You